Hello and welcome to today's video which will be the Cassie Mendoza Vendor Reset. As you can see I'm at the castle settlement and Cassie is next door. So I'm just going to run and find her. Uh, I'll do a, bit, a little bit of speed run but it will show you the route to find where she is. Alright, so now I'm at Cassie Mendoza. Let's see what she's got for sale. Great to see you. So this week she's got a new reliable LMG. A really great weapon, however, uh, this week's isn't greatly rolled. You could change the swap speed for damage to armor, um, but it's not overly great. It would need a little bit of optimizing. Pointment. Uh, chest piece, uh, armor's maxed out, health you can swap to crit damage or armor regen and then explosive resistance. So this would be really good for the iron horse raid when you have to um, stop the staggers from the um, Colonel Mora's over. So definitely worth looking at if you want to put a tank build together for um, the boss fight and also the third boss as well I think it would help and the next two items the shield splinter and the hunter killer are what you get from killing the year one and year two hunters respectively so to get the shield splinter you need to kill all the year one hunters get the eight ivory keys and you can open the box at the White House, which will give you um, this. And then you'll be get to see it every week at Cassie Mendoza. So this week, uh, the assault rifles damage is fairly decent. Health damage is almost max. And then you can change the reload speed to crit damage, damage to armor, or something. So again, it's not too bad a weapon this week uh, definitely worth looking at if you haven't already got one or the one you've got isn't as good and moving on to the hunter killer so as previously said this is what you get for killing the year two hunters that came with the warlords of new york expansion and you get eight off-white keys which you can then open the box in the haven settlement and you'll get the hunter killer chess piece which will then show Cassie Mendoza every week, just like the Shield Splinter does. Uh, this one's got armor, health, crit damage. Change the health for crit chance or armor regen. And a bit of optimizing on the armor and crit damage. And you've got a decent chest piece again. So these four items today aren't terrible. Um, definitely worth looking at. If you haven't got them already, because on their own they are good items, so they're definitely worth looking at in general. Um, I, so I would recommend checking them out. Moving on to the green gear sets, you've got Strikers Battle Gear, Backpack with Weapon Handling, Negotiator's Dilemma, Chest Piece with Weapon Damage and Crit Damage. Eclipse Protocol Gloves, Skill Tier Hazard Protection, Future Initiative Knee Pads, Skill Tier Skill Damage, Eclipse Protocol Holster, Skill Tier Repair Skills, Aces and Eights Mask, Weapon Damage, Headshot Damage. Not really anything I would particularly look at, maybe just the Negotiator's Dilemma Chest Piece. And then going into the high end items, so you've got the military P416, uh, not really one I'd look at because I'd want to change the stability and the talent. So, as you can only change one, it's not something I would bother looking at this week. SASG 12 shotgun, shotgun damage. 
damage to armor, crit damage, and ranger. The rolls aren't great. Uh, however, the attributes are pretty decent. Uh, you'd want to change the talent. The ranger isn't really that effective with shotgun. You can change it to pummel, for example. So, a bit of optimizing. You have a pretty decent shotgun. Uh, 5, 11, backpack, armor, hazard protection, skill, haste, and versatile. Petrov, mask, weapon damage, crit chance, armor, regen. Change the armor regen to crit damage. Uh, optimize the other two pieces, and you've got a decent uh, Petrov mask for your LMG build. And... Going into the mods, 8.3% headshot damage and 7.9% ensnare duration mod for the chem launcher. So starting from the top, I would say check out all four of these named items if you haven't already got one because they will be an upgrade to what you have got potentially. From the gear set items the negotiator's dilemma chess piece and then also check out the SAS G12 and the Petrov defense group so pretty good week for Cassie this week um, if you don't like any of the items that I've recommended uh, or you think differently please let me know in the comments I uh, hope it does save you a trip to find her if you don't like anything. And I will catch you in my next video, which is um, a build video, which I'm going to put out on Friday, which I'm really looking forward to because I've used it a few times this week and I really enjoyed it. It's uh, definitely something different. So check that one out. Thank you for watching.